after about 20 hours of traveling west of New York, I finally made it to Guam. I'm gonna be here for the next two weeks. Today is day one of the adventures, so I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. <laughs> All right, please don't put your foot in the water. This is Bikini Island Club. This is the first adventure that I'm doing here in Guam. It's also my first time doing this. I'm here with T. What He's up? gonna be our boat guide today. Yes, boat guide. Captain Griffin. Don, this is JC, Christina. We're going out to sea to potentially find dolphins and sea turtles. Stop. We're gonna go snorkeling. This is Brandon. We went to high school together. And he was also a student in my taekwondo school. I had potential to beat him in maybe 30 years. Oh. <laughs> you gotta do a flip. Hey! I'm in the ocean. Very, very far away from shore. What's up? All right, so Griffin and I only met the last time I went to Guam. Dude, I'm so out of breath. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know how we met. We're back for round two. Boom. The main attraction of this bikini island thing is a, a hut and a swing in the middle of a sandbar in the middle of the ocean. We saw a couple of turtles on the way here, which is pretty cool. It's a turtle, it's a turtle, no way. Oh, yeah. First time seeing any sort of, that's a lie. First time seeing a turtle in nature. <laughs> Cinematics? Cinematics! <laughs> They're actually nice enough to hook that up. So thank you, Bikini Island Club. Highly recommend. We just had dinner here in Tumon. Jed dropped my phone in the water. He doesn't want to mention Dude, that far. Funny. Griffin was standing on the swing earlier and I was like, yo, yo, toss your phone. <laughs> I totally missed it and fell right into the ocean water. I feel bad. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna be meeting at, it's called Augie Cove. It's a nice hike. We're gonna meet at 5.30 a.m. It's gonna be a sunrise hike. We're gonna transition from right now to tomorrow morning. 5.30 a.m., see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sunrise hike. Yeah, Six a.m. We're doing the Agri Cove hike. We have Phoebe back. The cast <laughs> is back. <laughs> yeah, it's a thirty-minute hike, but it just rained all morning, so I hear it's slippery when it's <sighs> raining. <laughs> I hear water is wet. This is the start of the hike. It doesn't look fun. I want to buy my banana. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, did that hurt my quad? We're gonna jump off the cliff over there, go swimming. I'm gonna take off the drone. Um, it's gonna be fun. Yo, Jed, I got like no service down here, bro. Oh, you don't? No. Wait, do you have Docomo? No, how come? So the sponsor of today's video is Docomo Pacific. They're a service provider here in Guam. They were actually the service provider that I used in high school. So during my stay here in Guam, I knew I wanted to stay connected and Docomo was kind enough to hook me up with an Apple Watch and an iPhone 13. The reason why I love using Docomo is they're the first and only telecommunications company to launch 5G services here in the Marianas. I'm gonna talk more about them later in this video. We're gonna jump off that cliff. I've never done it before. This video is just me being like, I haven't done this before. But I really haven't done this before. Climb the rock here at Agui Cove. One of the few hikes in the village of Dedido. And Dedido is in the northern side of the island. It's where I grew up. We also don't say cities in Guam. We call the regions villages. So I'm from the village of Dedido. Blue, blue water. I'm flying back to New York soon. It's been great being in Guam again. If you're wondering why I came back again, even though I just left like something like two months ago. Big reason is my parents are here and I didn't visit Guam for three years from like 2019 to 2022 because I had a full-time coding job where I could only take something like two weeks off in a year. So pretty much there's like no vacation days left for me to go to Guam. So the main reason there was my job flexibility. And now that I'm doing full-time YouTube, it's nice that I can just come here, make videos. Today is August 17, and a year ago, I posted my, I quit my software engineer job on August 17, 2021. So it's officially been a year of me doing YouTube full-time, and I just wanna say thank you. It's about 11 a.m., and the boys and I are meeting up at a place called Tally Bay, and I'm gonna go surfing for the first time. I have never surfed. I don't even know if I'm a strong swimmer, so I'm like, Six out of ten scared. So let's go.
Not the drone. Oh, it landed upside down. <gasps> no. Oh, no. To dry it. Uh, I don't know. I have no excuse for what happened, but I crashed into the tree. Griffin was up on this thing. Propeller's gone. <laughs> Propeller's broken. This thing is soaked. It's still on and I was still filming. It seems okay, I just have to clean it. So silly, so silly. It was a cool shot though. We came here to the village of Agat to get a cool shot of this rock. Honestly, it's pretty cool. This drone cost me $2,800 and I just sent that into the jungle. I thought you had time to go up. Imagine this happens on like day one of shooting and then I just have no drone. <laughs> We're gonna check out the south. There's some cool spots that I wanna take videos at. My car for this trip is a red Camaro convertible. I normally don't drive cars like this, but Tyco, the car rental place, was kind enough to donate this to me for this trip. I'm gonna link them in the description. What's up guys? Just in time. Let's go. Cinematics. <laughs> <laughs> Griffin. At a random hill. Griffin posted a cool sunset photo of someone posing here and Griffin was shooting down there. It was actually yours, surely. Oh, you were the model. That was the model. That was Whoa. The model. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's so cloudy. Oh, this is perfect, dude. Full LTE. So anyway, thank you to Docomo service. I'm getting great internet speeds, even in the most remote locations on the island. Check this out. Full LTE service and we're in the middle of nowhere. Look how fast my Instagram is loading. Bam. These days I'm pretty much exclusively using my cellular data and as someone that goes on Instagram, YouTube, FaceTime a lot, I've been really happy with how smooth Docomo's LTE and 5G services have been. So every time I'm in Guam visiting, Docomo is my first choice for staying connected online. So thank you again Docomo for sponsoring this video and thanks again for this Apple Watch 7 and iPhone 13 Pro. This is the last hike that I'm doing in Guam. It's a very, very muddy, muddy hike. And these only shoes that I brought are these brand new Air Forces, but I did have slippers. So I left the Air Forces in the car, but the slippers are not holding in this mud. So I am getting this barefoot and it's been truly a different, different experience. Very grounding. I think we made it. It's like a waterfall. This is called Tenago Falls. Made it to the falls. This is probably my last hike before I head out in like four or five days. Um, I'm also tired of doing hikes where I have to carry my 20 pound camera bag. I'm not gonna film anymore. I'm gonna put this down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come visit Guam sometime. It's beautiful. I'll see you guys in New York. <laughs>